Jimmy Tugger here with another product review for HobbyFanatic.com. Today we're taking a look at the Philips L-Prize bulb. That's actually the name of the bulb. The L-Prize itself was a competition mandated by the Energy Independence and Security Act of 2007. Now, that's the law that's commonly known as the law that outlawed incandescent light bulbs. It didn't really do that, but one thing that it did do was it directed the Department of Energy to set up a competition to spur innovation among light bulb developers. Now, specifically to replace the 60 watt incandescent light bulb. Well, turns out Philips was the only company to actually enter the competition. But before you say, hey, uh, competition with only one entrant is no competition at all, the protocols that they used were very thorough, very good, and I suggest you take a look at them at lightingprize.org. There's a lot of details there. Go check it out. But first, let's take a look at this bulb. Okay, so here's our L Prize bulb. Now, the L Prize competition mandated that each entrant had to produce 900 lumens or better with 10 watts or less of power and at a nice warm color temperature comparable to an incandescent bulb. Phillips really nailed it with this bulb. Um, this bulb was rated at 10 watts of power, 940 lumens, and it's rated at 2700K, which is right dead on for an incandescent. Now, my watt meter shows this bulb is only consuming 7 watts of power. So, they really got it. Um, I would say that 10 is probably a maximum just to account for variability in each bulb. Alright? By comparison, here's a 60 watt Sylvania incandescent bulb. I gotta say, the LED is a little brighter. Very comparable in color. Alright? And finally, let's take a look at another Philips LED bulb that's been on the market for a while now. This is the Endura LED. It's a 50 or 60 watt incandescent equivalent. Um, it's an LED bulb, obviously. Uh, consumes 12 and a half watts and produces 800 lumens. Not quite as bright as the L Prize bulb, but but pretty close. Okay, this one you can pick up at big box stores. Now, let's go talk a little bit more about pricing on these bulbs. Okay. Okay, so the bulb looks great. A couple more quick stats before we go any further. Um, first off, this bulb is fully dimmable. Um, and it's rated at 25,000 hours. That seems to be the standard for LED light bulbs these days. Now, the L Prize testing has actually been going on now for 20,000 hours, and none of the L Prize bulbs have died. So you can actually, I think you can actually count on that number. But as far as price, these are available online anywhere between 30 and 50 dollars, and it seems to really vary quite a bit. Um, I, I bought this one on Amazon for 34 dollars. At that time, Home Depot was selling for $49. The next day on Amazon, it was up to $42. So the prices are really all over the place. As far as finding them in a local store, that seems to be dependent upon whether your local utility company offers some kind of a rebate on energy efficient lighting. I haven't found these anywhere. I'm here in North Texas, no rebates. I've heard in the Northeast where there are some rebates, they're easier to get and actually buy in a store. So, but. What's the payoff on this bulb? This bulb that we looked at earlier is available in the big box stores. You can usually find it for about $19 or $24. It's a 12 and a half watt bulb, so two and a half watts more power with this bulb, a little bit dimmer, 800 lumens compared to 940, a little bit different. But at that two and a half watt difference, this bulb will cost you seven and a half dollars more to operate over the life of the bulb if you pay 12 cents a kilowatt hour. So, if you see this bulb in the store and it's more than 750 more than this bulb, it may not be worth buying. So, it's a great bulb. If your specific application requires a really bright bulb um, or real high energy efficiency, this is the only bulb to consider. But for most everybody, this bulb is very, very close. Um, so, there's your price point. $750 is the difference. Now, I have a feeling you're going to see all this technology rolled into these bulbs and you're just going to get Philips bulbs in the near, near future and this L Prize thing is going to go away. Um, all right, there it is. Great bulb, really expensive. Enjoy Hobby Fanatic fans. Thank you.